Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. I haven't touched it yet. And this is what they want to do. They were even printing on a light blue t-shirt. That's a pretty cool. He told me how I did it, but he had to painstakingly, well, let's just do it. It's not, I would normally reduce it in size, but I'm not going to because he, he bitmap or trace this outline trace clip art. And we're going to bump the details up all the way. And by doing that, you get these lines, but maybe, maybe, or maybe not. So here's these eggs. And if we look at it under a yellow box, it has white in it. So I, I, I missed a step. He even said he did this. So let's trace it again. Alan trace clip art. And then when it's done, I was concentrating on bumping up the detail. I forgot to take away the color and take a color from entire image and then move it over. Okay. He loves the nest, which is great. It is a nice one but he doesn't like the eggs. So he wants to get rid of those little bitty specks. And you can see it's got some gray in it, but uh, it's also transparent, uh, which I think we could do something about. But we're gonna take this and we're gonna go to object and I'm gonna show you what he's doing. Ungroup it and then he's painstakingly well, first of all, get rid of these lines, but I think we can just hit this one and hit delete it. Well, did that change it? Okay, we're, we're good to go. Uh, we can actually look in our wireframe just to make sure those lines are gone. And no, they're not gone. So, what you could do is take the, I don't think those lines, nobody's ever told me if they print or cause problems. Um, probably the best way to do is try to do what I did just now, grab those lines and just grab them and hit delete. Grab that line. Well, there's so many nodes there. And hit delete. And maybe you won't delete the other lines. Here's going to be a little bit easier because we're on an edge. I'm just using the shape tool, folks. I'm not using the pick tool. I And I don't know that you have to do this because I don't really think they're there, but save this, sorry. Now let's go back to view and enhance. Now I haven't done this, so I'm only going to think it's working in our favor. Instead of trying to go through and deleting every one of those little specs and then making room for the new eggs, I'm going to just kind of trace them and just try something. I'm going to get the freehand tool. I'm going to, I'm going to try to trace them by hand, get, get them close. I can always doctor it up later. I'm just going to go real fast and... I'm actually going to try to imagine what the egg looked like and because uh, we can change it later. I'm going to go real fast and I'm going to call that good, but I got to go back to my starting point. Well, you know what? That'll work. I, I want, I want to be able to use these shapes maybe later for my egg shape. And I got a little bit off there. Now, I'm going to have to grab my lines and nudge them over. I'm nudging too far. That's not bad. Now we got to have closed. It's got to be closed system for this to work. I'm going to delete that one node and I'm going to bring this over to here and we can, once we make it a, a nodule or a, a, a clean, well, that's really messed up. I should have maybe taken my time. Well, that's three different lines. 
Uh, tell you what, I want to put that up there and then bring that kind of more. And, well, that looks bad. Anyway, I'm just trying to get it close to the shape. Not really a shape of an egg yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. I'm going to make a duplicate and move them over. And I'm going to weld this together. And I can actually cut out these lines. I just want that internal shape for this to work. Now I'm going to take that and I'm actually going to fill it in with black. And I'm going to nudge it over. And you can see I'm a little bit off, but not really. Uh, we can actually make it a little bit bigger. Because I'm hoping this will work. Now, you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to nudge that back. I'm going to have to group this together, Control G. Move that back and go right here and try. I can't intersect it. I'm going to try trim. Look at that. The little bitty specks of, of eggs are gone. That's pretty good. That was a lot quicker than I thought. So this was actually going to kind of work. I wish I would have taken more time on my eggs. Um, you know, he took a lot of time. Matter of fact, you could probably use those eggs, but he, he knows how to make the eggs now. So, but what we want to do is go ahead and just, um, this egg is going to be laying on top of that egg. And I think the, I'm going to put the other egg on top of that egg. So let's say that's good. Now, um, I'm kind of lost. He had a really weird color for the eggs. Well, kind of eggshell color, I guess. You did a good job. He just, so I've already saved him a lot of steps, I'm hoping, and he can take it from here, but I thought I'd go and finish and get the Smart Fill tool. I'm going to go in case I have a leak, I'm going to put a rectangle around mine. Get the Smart Fill tool, get my eyedropper, and click on the eggs. Now, we either, let's nudge them, nudge them, nudge them, and then put an out, put an outline on them. Ah. See, that's what he had to do. He had to get rid of all those dots. Um, let me nudge it over some more. And I'm going to put an outline around my eggs and see if that works to make it kind of stand out. Yep. Now we've nudged though time. So now we can nudge it back. And we're a little bit off on our size, but he knows what to do there. And, um, you know, if you remember, I made the, you know what I'm going to do? Hold down this shift key and enlarge the whole thing from the center. Who knows what the eggs look like? I mean, on the nest itself. And then maybe get your nudge factor set on something like point, point 0.1. I think I did point zero 0.01. And, and take these, well, I need to, let me move these out of the way. Whoop. Let me see if I can't grab my eggs and group them together, control G. And then you can minutely move the eggs around to where they're coming up all the dark spots. Now, that egg looks like it's almost falling out in his, well, kind of do too. Now on his, he's got a, it's darker than my nest. Um, I think mine actually looks better. And if we remember, if I remember right, it's transparent. That's what he, I think that's what he wanted. Um, That'll be pretty cool. Now, I, I didn't take very much time on the eggs, as you know. And, you know, you could still, you could still change these eggs by breaking them apart and moving them around individually. We could grab them, go up to object group and ungroup them, and then grab that egg. Well, no, you can't. Go up to object. Well, 
Why wouldn't it be a group? There we go. Just move that egg down. Of course, we've lost the, the background. So maybe we need to move this egg up. You know, we're kind of, you're damned if you do and a damned if you don't. Anyway, he can work on that. I, if you don't understand, we had to remove the reason we did this is to remove all those dots. He had to painstakingly cut them out and not cut any of the nests out. And you could do that. Let me just show you. Maybe he wasn't doing it a faster way. Uh, this is still our bitmap. Let's trace it again. And if you have no interest in doing this, just stop watching. I'm going to go ahead and remove. When it does it, remove from background. And then take this. He had to remove all these. Well, that doesn't even look the same. Let's take away the fill. Add an outline. So it doesn't doesn't look like there's many spots as there were. You know what? Let's back up here because he did tell me he went outline trace clip art. He went and raised the detail up to 100 to get all the detail and then remove the color. And I'm not going to worry about the lines this time. <clears throat> and once again, the bitmap used to always be on the bottom. Now it's on the top. So he had to go here an object group and ungroup it. And he had to go through here and move all, remove all those dots. Now, one thing you could do, just the freehand pick tool and hold down the, I don't use it very much, hold down the alt key and you can circle a bunch and then hit delete. Well, that's always going to be a problem when you have it deleted or broken apart. Sometimes the out, outermost shell I need to move my nudge factor back. I'm going to put it like at five. Sometimes you'll grab. Well, there's there's one thing we could do right there. Move that out of the way. And just delete a lot of that garbage. So there's a pretty quick out. And that really he might like that. Um, you know, but you get the shape tool and that's not going to be the way to go. I think the, uh, you know what, by doing what we did, I don't know how he got rid of all those little dots, to be honest with you. Because every time you take away a dot, I think it's going to be black underneath there. Yep. You know? But anyway, so you could just, you could, you don't even have to get rid of the, the dots the next time you do this. Just draw you three eggs. And this egg's actually setting up, I notice now. Anyway, I know you'll never do that, but that might give you a um, an idea on how to use the trim tool. Let's we'll see what these look like side by side. Mine is uh, less dark, and but he's printing it, so I don't know. See, his is more see-through. Well, mine's more see-through but I've got some gray in there that you could uh, go up to object group and ungroup them. And then whenever you have a deal like that, you've got to click off of it to come back. And then you can, then you can click on some things. So if you ever get where you can't pick anything, it's because your pick tool, well, we could get rid of that white and I might not have picked remove color from total background. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.